Suppose you and a friend want to meet up. You are driving, speeding towards the desired intersection point. Let's say you're driving east at a rate of 50 miles per hour. And, and you're headed towards, towards whatever, whatever your intersection point is. Your friend, they're also speeding to get there. So, so here's your friend. And, and, and they're driving at a rate of, say, 60 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. They're headed, they're headed due north. So you're headed east, they're headed north, you're both headed to this intersection point where you're looking forward to, to meet up with each other. Okay, so, so you're both driving at, at 50 miles per hour, at 60 miles per hour, headed towards this intersection point. And, and let's say at some particular moment, at that given moment, you find yourself, say, three miles away. And, and at that same moment, your friend finds themselves at, at, four miles away. The question is, is how quickly are you approaching each other? Or said another way, if you think about the distance between you and your friend, how quickly is that distance decreasing? So, so we're trying to figure out the rate of change of this distance, of how quickly this distance is decreasing. Okay, well, let's put some variables on this problem in order to help us um, maybe make some relationships between the various, the various quantities. Let's say that this distance between you, let's just call it big D, that's probably a good name for distance. And, and so what do we wanna know? Well, our problem is asking is how quickly D is changing. So the problem is asking to calculate what is the change in D over time, that is the derivative of d with respect to time. That's the big unknown. That's what we're going to want to find out. Well, what do we know? We know your distance from this point. We know your friend's distance from that point. Let's give those some names. Let's say your distance is x. Let's say your friend's distance is y. Then, if you're going at 50 miles per hour, that would be a change in your distance, right? The faster you go, the quicker your distance is decreasing. So, so the change in x over time would be what? Was it 50? Not quite, because actually your distance is getting smaller, right? The, this is measuring how, how much the distance is decreasing, because you're driving towards, towards the intersection point. So your change in, in x over time is actually negative 50, negative 50 miles per hour. Whereas your friends, your friends change in, in distance, your friends change in y over time would also be similarly negative because they're going towards that point, so the distance is decreasing, so negative 60. So notice what we have here. We have information about your rate of change from the intersection point, your friend's rate of change from the intersection point, and what we want to figure out is, is what is going to be the rate of change of this distance between you. So I need somehow of relating this d with these other quantities x and y. Well, maybe you've already noticed, if you just look here, you have a right triangle. And so we can relate d with x and y by the relationship x squared plus y squared is d squared. Now we've related the quantities that we want to know about. We have information about x and y, we want to learn something about d. Great. We're almost there, but now we want to remember that since we really care about the change of d with respect to time, the, the next step is to take the derivative of this. We're going, to, we're going to do implicit differentiation taking the derivative with respect to time. This x, y, and d are all secretly functions with respect to time. What does that give us? Well, the derivative of x squared becomes 2x, and then by the chain rule, times dx dt, plus your y, which is some function of t, becomes its derivative of y squared is 2y times dy dt, and that will come out to equal the derivative of 2d, uh, of d squared, which is 2d, the derivative of d, with respect to time. Okay, let's plug in what we know. Uh, you might first just notice you have twos, twos, twos. You can just divide everything by two to simplify this a little bit. Okay, now let's plug in what we know. 
We said that at the moment when x is 3 miles. So that's what we care about. We're going to plug in x equals 3. Now we're waiting to here to plug in x equals 3. We don't plug x equals 3 into the beginning because that's some value that's changing. This is a function that changes. So it's not until after we take the derivative, we then say, OK, well, what's going on at the moment when x is equal to 3? So we can plug in 3 for x. Similarly, we know our y is 4, so we can plug that in. dx dt, we already said is negative 50. So it's 3 times negative 50 plus your y was 4, your dy dt is negative 60, 4 times negative 60 is equal to d. What is d? d is the distance between you. Well, let's think. If at this moment my x is 3 and my y is 4, then I can just use the Pythagorean theorem to say if it's a 3 and a 4, d must be 5. I can use this relationship to say if x at the moment when x is 3 and the moment when y is 4, at that moment, you can solve d squared to say, well, d has to be equal to 5. OK, so we can plug in, we can plug in 5, and then we're left with d, the derivative of d with respect to time. That's the unknown. That's what we want to solve for. Well, that's fine. Let's just solve it. 3 times 50 is minus 150. 4 times 60, now we have minus 240, so that gives you minus 390. We're now going to divide by that 5, and we end up with the change in d over time is minus 390 over 5, which should be, what, 78? Minus 78. If you want to put some units on this, your distance is in miles, so the change in over time would be miles per hour, just like it was for your dx dt and your dy dt. So, so we have then that the, the speed that the distance between you is decreasing is negative 78. Why the negative? Because it's d decreasing. OK, let's just take a moment to appreciate what we just showed. You're driving at 50 miles per hour. Your friend's driving at 60 miles per hour. But, but since you're both headed towards the same common intersection point, the distance between you is decreasing faster than either one of you is driving. The distance between you is decreasing at 78 miles per hour. I think there's something beautiful in that. The distance between you and your friend is, is decreasing faster than either one of you are going.